you know, we, we've seen reports that Janet Yellen will be going to China next, uh, next week. Um, and I'm, I'm wondering about what, you know, your plans are, your thinking is about having the president speak with President Xi after the whole uh, dust up of the last uh, campaign, you know, sort of uh, announced, you know, whatever the, the yeah, dictator sure. remark. <laughs> whatever you'd like Just to call it. Just to call it, call it out. Um, um, so I don't have any uh, travel to preview for, for Secretary Yellen, certainly would refer you to Treasury, the Treasury Department to make any announcement of that nature. Um, with respect to the President, I also don't have any call uh, to preview. I think you um, you heard him the other day say he hopes to speak to President Xi in the near term, but beyond that I don't have anything to, to add on that front. What I would say is that, as you heard Secretary Blinken say during his travels in the region and on, upon his return, we continue to feel it's really important that we have um, multiple channels of communication with Beijing um, and that that is critical to the relationship in a time where our increased competition, uh, we want to make sure that doesn't veer into conflict. And so um, have those multiple layers of communication to avoid any sort of miscalculations, misperceptions, tension, manage, manage the tensions in a responsible way. Given the situation that we saw unfold this weekend in Russia, is it, are you reaching out to your Chinese counterparts through all these different discussion channels? to ask them particularly to, to take any particular action in the context of the divisions? I, I don't have anything specific to read out to you on that. Uh, Sebastian?